no one, no one ever get cured for lying in bed and feeling sorry for themselves. And I think that is what also what I want my children to learn from me. Hello, my name is Lina. I'm 42 years old and I have been living in Malta for 11 years. Uh, for five years ago, I got diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Uh, and for three years ago, I was diagnosed with incurable thyroid cancer. This kind of cancer that I have is normally the one uh, that, that screws up with your thyroid. So people normally get really big uh, and because of that I need to exercise double of normal people. Uh, where I, so I go to the gym between five or six times a week uh, and try to, to do some kind of cardio actually every, every day. When I just got diagnosed that was self-pity and lying on the floor crying and I was super, super depressed, but I also realized that the only way that I can keep myself alive and also be there as long as possible for my children is to, uh, is to uh, be as healthy and be the best version of myself. If, if I'm going to die, I'm not going to die lying down in my bed. And I want to, I want to be as fighting as I can. Uh, and I always, uh, one of the things that I learned was that no one ever got cured for lying in the bed feeling sorry for themselves. You, you, get, you, you get better by fighting all the time. I've done six half marathons the last, uh, the last year. I've actually done two on treadmill. It took me three hours to do one of them. Always find some kind of way to exercise. Of course, of course I have days where I think it's, I want to sleep a little bit longer. But then I also remind myself that next time I go into a surgery, my recovery time will be longer if, I don't, if I'm not in a physical good shape. It was actually my, my surgeon from one of my surgeries. He, he told me I will walk stairs for a half an hour the day after. And he told me if I'm not, you know, he would, he would force me to do it. And I, this was the, wor the worst surgery I had. It literally, you know, broke up my chest bone. And then the day after, <laughs> A nurse came, came, hold my blood back. I had a drain hanging out, and walked stairs with me for half an hour. Not very fast, but I did it. And he told me this is so I could have my lungs uh, unfolded after the surgery. In the middle of my own fight uh, with cancer, I lost my mom to cancer in December. So losing her was a very big uh, emotional uh, wound for, for for myself, which I honestly still uh, have a hard time with. I have learned and somehow begin to believe that you can outrun your own cancer by being healthy, by, by keep going and I try to, to keep busy with my children. Uh, we go to the spa once a month and we actually learn to massage the children now. So we go to the spa, uh, we even found out now that pouring warm water on each other is really nice. So this is one of the pampering things that we love to do in our family. If I go before they're old enough, they will get all these small video clips I've made the last five years that I've been sending them uh, with different outfits where I'm sitting and telling them good advice from their mom. Uh, and this is exactly the same things I'm telling them. No one comes and live your life for you. And no one comes and tells you, tell you you know how to live it but one thing is for sure if you give up it's not going to get better anyway so I hope for anyone no matter what you know heartache or problems they're going to that they really take that fight because it is really worth doing